Hey guys, and welcome back to Soma. When we last left off, we had made it to our friend Catherine here, who was, well, pretty much as we expected, uh, a soulless machine, which may or may not be soulless. Uh, either way, she is now in our pocket, and she has explained to us that we are essentially a sentient um, diving suit, which is... Um, uh, w w which is cool, I guess, I suppose. Why the devil not, huh? Um, she has explained to us that she was working on an ARC project. And hopefully, uh, we're going to get ourselves on board. Now, she was wondering if the thing was fired into space. Because this uh, whole underwater facility that we're in is a giant space gun. In fact, it is a coil gun. Um, which is very similar to a rail gun. Only, you know different. Um, in fact, it is uh, it uses the same principle, magnetic acceleration, except instead of having a series of rails that uh, actually come into contact with the projectile, uh, it uses a series of banks of coils. Um, so it's less powerful, but it's a lot, uh, a lot more complicated as well. Um, Trouble with railguns is they have a horrible um, knack of trying to tear themselves apart due to the magnetic forces applied. And I am trying, you can hear me concentrating, trying to hear if that machine thing is still around. Because if you remember, when we first arrived, there was that weird um, humanoid enemy that we were told not to look at. Which is a little bit like the weeping angels from... Oh, hello. Um, you can fuck off, pal. Uh-oh, maybe, maybe it's time we leave. Yeah, similar to the weeping... Oh god, he's coming in. Yeah, weird. Similar to the uh, Weeping Angels from Doctor Who, except uh, they move when you are not looking at them. So apparently this thing comes at you when you are. I wanted to explore that area a little bit m more, but uh, we need to be a little bit careful. That dickhead smashing his way in. Alright, well the infection is certainly getting worse here, which is interesting. Well, Catherine, let's keep exploring. Uh, apparently, we need to find our way to Tau, uh, which is 300 in Greek. Ooh, hello. Anybody here? Ooh, we have one of these uh, one of these gel things to fondle, structure gel, which uh, we don't need it, so we're going to leave it alone. So where is this? Have we gone full circle? Yeah, kind of. Ah, it looks like he's jogged on. Good. Yeah, we've gone full circle. We really need a map. A map would be wonderful. We did have a quick brief look in here. Ah, there's another one of those. So I'm guessing our friend can't actually smash his way through that. And that was how we learnt about the, uh, the virtual reality arc thing. That uh, we need to launch. Um, so we've got Lambda. Okay. Well, let's find our way out of here. And we did promise that we were going to walk Cat to the destination if necessary. Which I'm assuming is absolutely going to be necessary. So, shuttle station to Lambda. Um, is that the way we came in? It looks like it. Ish. That place has collapsed with a hard hat. We sure as hell are not going that way. This place is flooded. I don't want to miss any logs or anything either. Because uh, the story has been really interesting. Well, he's given up, which is good. There's a computer there that we can't access. We have beds here. But uh, I'm assuming because we are a soulless machine. Oh, hello. I'm assuming because we're a soulless machine, uh, we don't need to sleep or any of that stuff. 
I've stayed up all night. Seemed like a waste to sleep. The TV on the back. Uh, I got the TV on in the background. The newscasters are covering the incoming comment like they were counting down for New Year's Eve. I know it's messed up wishing you were here with me. I suppose if anyone has a chance to survive this thing, it would be you guys below the waves. I hope you're able to go on. If it's a life worth living. Looks like the shit's about to hit the fan. I better hit send before the shockwave reaches us. I'm proud of you, boy. Dad. Ah. Ah. That's really sweet. Mm-hmm. Well, we have uh, a spare suit there. However, I don't think we're ever going to need... To Ooh, pills. Can we take these? Uh, I'm guessing not. No idea what they are. Sleeping pills, maybe? If we're lucky, they might make us hallucinate. I think that that would be good right about now. A little bit of relaxation. Although, knowing us, we would hallucinate bad things. Smurfs with knives. Oh no, that's the way we came in. Yeah. So, we need to go this way. Uh, I've also uh, changed up my sound card settings. Um, since I moved this room around a very long time ago, we need to go through there. When I set my sound card up, I didn't actually have my headset going in through the boosted, dedicated um, headphone amp. And I've switched over to that, and my god, guys. The sound is incredible. Ooh, what does this do? It's a fridge type thing. Uh, how about we not smash this open? Nope. Come on. Here we go. Ah, uh, damn it. Reinforced glass. Uh, can we set Catherine down somewhere? And get her to clear anything for us. I mean, it seems likely that we need to go through here. Don't make me make a cut in the video game. Because I will. There must be a door that we haven't been through yet. Have we been through this one? That's the one with Cat in. Can we put her in there? No. I tell you what, guys. You don't play a game for a few days and then you get completely lost. And you end up looking like a dickhead. There must be a room here that I'm missing. What's this do? Emergency life support. Yeah, uh, I don't think we will ever need one of those again. And our torch is dimming. Let's get that shit charged. What's this? Another emergency life support. See, my guess would be to go back through there. Unless... Ah, do we actually have to leave here now? And go on another mini-adventure outside. Uh, well, we can, so... I guess that's what we're doing? Alright, well... We're gonna go take a long walk. I wonder if that asshole was still outside. The one that was a, a touch on the unfriendly side. You know, head bonking his way into uh, into our nice sealed environment. I think he was after our structure gel. I wish I could bring up an objective somehow. Because although I know we've got to get to Tau. Ah, hang on. There was that other area that was locked down here. I wonder if we can get our friendly droid bot to give us a hand and open it up. Oh, hello. Ah, what's this? Ooh. Um. Nope. Are we? Nope, nope. Seal it all up, please. Oh, I guess we can't seal it up because there's barnacles there. Alright. What the hell is this shit? Uh, what? What is this? Curie 
emergency vessel four. Um, hey, Simon, can you hear me? I can. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Well, she could shut the door. All right. Well. That did not sound good. Worth a shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get around. Great. Okay, so the Curie, was that that ship that we saw earlier? Uh, the one that kind of looked like a fishing trawler. Is that our friend? Well, he's not glowing red, so I'm going to assume... You know, it's probably not worth flagging these guys down, unless we really need to. What's this? Is that the Curie? Nope, that is some kind of underwater construct. Hello. You look like a pig. Pigbot. You should be called Pigbot. Well, let's follow this walkway. It's the trouble underwater. Everything looks the same. Um. Well. I oh oh fucking hell! Is that the thing that we're not supposed to look at? Uh, how? You uh, you gonna play nice now, buddy? I assume that means we're going the right way. You know, game logic and all that. Oh. Okay, so that thing teleports around. Teleportation is a thing in this? Well, quantum teleportation, I suppose. What the hell is that? It kind of... I, I want to have a good look at one of those. I'm pretty sure we're going to get nicely acquainted soon. You know, when he has his uh, tendrils deep inside our ghibli bits which I assume is a thing that's going to happen if he even has tendrils for that matter well they do say life is better down where it's wetter however can we not shut that behind us probably uh, probably should shut that behind us um, I'm sure Simon is going to challenge that theory So this place looks completely fragged. Gonna get no help here. Hmm. I've been in a few shipwrecks in my time. Not underwater. But uh This is pretty pretty authentic. I'm assuming when our screen is flickering like that, that means enemies. Well, we're not going to worry about it just yet. I'm just going to keep following this rabbit hole. Hello? Mr. Bubbles, is that you? That'd be a cool little easter egg. Ah, and now we're... Okay, we're back outside. That might have been the Curie. Hmm. Why do I think of Fallout when I think of that? Uh oh. Yeah, we, ju we just. Ooh, evening. I'm assuming that's the thing that we're not allowed to look at. Like an Enderman. Don't look at it in the eyes. But it has so many eyes. Each one bigger and uh, more interesting than the last. Kind of hard to avert thy gaze. When the enemy design in this game is so interesting. I want to look at this thing. Alright, well. Ooh, anything? New. I hope we're not going around in circles. Kind of hard to, uh. tell. But I think we're good. I think we're good. 
The music is telling me that there's probably enemies around. And I must say, the music uh, in general is really good. Really spot on. Okay. Nothing. Ah. Aha. Bingo. Uh, how do we dislodge that? I guess we're going inside. Now, I'm going to call that guy Mr. Bubbles. Hopefully, Mr. Bubbles is going to leave us alone for five seconds. Aha. Or is he going to be inside here when we get in? He's like, oh, hi. Like, good evening, sir. Could you, uh, kindly fuck off and let me, uh, take this vessel off your hands? I very much doubt we're going to be sitting down like gentlemen, discussing it over seaweed tea or whatever these guys drink these days. Yeah, it'd be a nice cup of structure gel, wouldn't it? Well. That looks inviting. And that also looks like our only choice. Of course it is. Let's give uh, our light a second to charge up. I don't know if we need to give it a second to charge up or if it's just a placebo effect. Mr. Bubbles, you about, buddy? It's okay. Feel free to introduce yourself. I can be quite the accommodating gentleman. As long as you're not trying to put things in my uh, my orifices. And I definitely don't like my organs being spiked. By horrible sharp objects. Well, you know, it's not my first choice anyway. Try anything once, I suppose. Um... I was gonna say the frame rate just dropped through the floor. Right. Let's find a working escape vessel. Yeah, well, we've seen a escape vessel, Simon. Um, that one's locked or jammed. Oh wow! Look at the physics. Very, very cool stuff. Okay, Mr. Bubbles. What like are you done with the place? Are you gonna just like turn up here or something? Yeah, well done game. I like it when a game isn't predictable. Still, early days yet. Um, there we go. Lovely. Hey, it's a good thing we realized we had this flashlight. Oh, there's some trypophobia for you right there. Jesus. All right. Hey, Mr. Bubble. Ah, this would be a great corridor for an introduction to Mr. Bubbles. Um, was that Mr. Bubbles? It was kind of hard to see. There's Mr. Bubbles. Look, mate, if you could kindly fuck off. He's literally right behind me, isn't he? Um. How do we get rid of him? Do we just not look at him? Mate, this is you're going to make this very hard. I'm just passing through, and I'm trying to listen to the audio logs. All right. I don't want to be here long. God damn it, you fucking knobhead. Look. And if you're gonna talk and threaten me, at least do it in English. <sighs> you're right behind me, aren't you? Yes, you are behind me. There you are. Can I get past you? Are you going to kill me? If I don't look at you. 
Do I just sit here in the corner and hope that you go away? Yeah? Um, I'm stuck on something. Okay, I did wonder if I was just, you know, bumping up against his, uh, body. Ah, fuck it. Sir, you're making this so much harder than it has to be. Why can't I move? This is kind of an interesting enemy design. I guess, yeah, we don't look at him and he fucks off. Interesting. Now, I really kind of would like to hear these logs. If it's all the same to you. Because I'm finding the story extremely interesting. Uh, that terminal was fragged. This whole area is fragged. Uh, right, okay, Mr. Bubbles. He's just patrolling around this area, isn't he? He's on like a set patrol path. Now, what I'm curious about, was it him that was talking? Yes, I know you're behind me. Jog on. Right. Uh-oh. Libsyn. Oh. The good news is, this guy isn't scary, but he's annoying. Now, do we have anything? Look, sir, I'm just going through your belongings, okay? Hey, pal. He's kind of whispering something as well. Trying to hear what he's saying. I mean... He doesn't seem to be overly hostile. I guess he's just a little bit uh, sensitive. He doesn't like to be looked at. Huh. Very, very unique character. I like it. I like... Oh, fuck. Very unique character. Yeah, buddy, I'm just going to have a little look in here. Are there more than one? I wonder. Is there more? I wonder if we can trap him in a room. But then he kind of teleports around, so... God damn it. Yeah, our torch does eventually run out. Alright, matey, I'm going to park myself in the corner. Alright? Can he open doors? Okay. I don't think he needs to open doors. I think he can just, uh, you know, walk past them or walk through them. All right, buddy, can I just can I just get through here, please? Is that all right, mate? Is that okay? We're not going to have any issues now, are we? I am going to be out of your hair as soon. Ah, really? Look, mate. Come on now. I can hear you and feel you breathing on the back of my neck. And I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. I've had bosses do that to me in the past. We're going to have to teach you a little something about personal space. <sighs> God damn it. Seriously, at least with a xenomorph, you know where you are. You know, unless you've got a pulse rifle or a flamethrower, you're fucked. 
But with this dickhead, he's uh, a little bit unpredictable. At least we know he's behind us because the screen's going all screwy. Right, so every time it, the screen shudders, I'm assuming he's teleporting. I guess looking where you're going is overrated anyway. So, hello. Look, mate, this is very difficult to navigate backwards, okay? I'm sorry. I don't want to be here any more than you want me to be here. But I need access to a ship. God damn it, buddy. You're really going to be riding my ass this whole time. Alright. God. In fact, he actually, from that quick glimpse there, looks a little bit like a fucked up um, big sister. Should we take some structure gel? Oh look, there's bones there. Yep, another uninvited guest. I do like the way they float. Shouldn't... Hmm. Say, so shouldn't rotten bones float? Look, mate. Okay, I'm just playing with your friend here. He's quite the interesting fellow. I'm going to call him Boney. Out of the way, Boney. Now, to take off the gel, or not to take off the gel. Um, let's see what happens this time. See if more of us gets consumed. No. It's still just... Um, still... Ooh. Well, that shook this whole thing. Alright, so F1.2. We need stairs going up, really. Ah! Aha! See, this is all I want from you, my friend. I just want your shuttle. Once I have your shuttle, you better believe I'm out of here, okay? To me, that sounds like a fair deal. I mean, you're probably just using it to store your shit in. Uh, thanks for the structure gel as well, by the way. It was uh, pretty good. What have we got here? We've got old tools. Ooh. Some kind of cutting torch. Got more bonesy. Lots of rib cages around. I guess that's the best part. Nothing. See, I want to explore and look in everywhere, but... Uh... Ooh, can we get up here? There doesn't appear to be an awful lot to find. Uh, to... Right. Now, has he... F right, so that's up to the emergency shuttle. Has he followed us up here? Uh, I think your bathroom needs a bit of a clean, mate. Yeah, I don't judge. Oh, this is where all the uh, legs are. Alright. So, you sort your bones, do you? That is where we need to go. Do we have anything at all? Ooh. That's cute. Mr. Bubbles? Oh. Like, what have you done with the kitchen? Trypophobia. Trypophobia warning. Mr. Bubbles, I can hear you. Oh, hey, pal. Look, mate, seriously? You don't get many guests, and I get that, okay? I do. And you're obviously very territorial. Which, again, <laughs> I get that. I do. But if you just go sit in your corner, this will all be over. Now, are you the same Mr. Bubbles from downstairs? Or are you Mrs. Bubbles? Alright, there we go. You're still through there, aren't you? 
Uh, I just I just want to have a little look at the command center, mate. I just want to see if there's any delicious information there. Aha! The bridge. Any information? Well, we have a chart. Look, mate, come on. I don't think you personally own this area. Ah, we can go up. That's the course that's been plotted, I suppose. Navigation. Ah, look, a little porthole. Are you really going to trap me? You are going to try and trap me here, aren't you? Well, I'm just going to look at this corner until you get bored. Do I have, like, a massive flashlight on my head? So when I look into the corner, do I disappear? You know what would sort this problem? A pulse rifle. See, Ripley... Now, she is always prepared. I don't know where he is. I have no idea where you are, buddy. And I don't have time for your silly little games. What do we have here? That looks like the... I can't speak today. Oh, look. That's gone. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So that's the trajectory of the uh, arc. Or is, ah, that's got to be the comment. The comment. The comet. Hmm. You know... Deflecting a, a comet, or asteroid, or meteor, or anything like that, um, is actually fairly simple. As long as you have enough time. Now, obviously, we don't know what kind of time scale these guys are working on. And you always see it in films, and you always blow up the asteroid, uh, or comet, they always, like, plant nukes in it. You know, that would not be the ideal solution. What can I play over there? The ideal um, solution would be to, instead of using any kind of nuke, is to fire some kind of impactor into it to knock it off course. Because knocking things off course in space is actually very easy. It uh, just comes down to time. In fact, I was reading up a very interesting um, uh, story the other day. Uh, well, actually, quite a while ago now. But one of the probes they launched, they actually um, experimented using this impactor. I think they fired a four-pound impactor into an asteroid to see if they could knock it off course, and it actually worked really, really well. Um, you are literally right behind me. Come on, man. Good lord. What, I mean, what do you want to talk about? I'm listening. You're not very coherent either. Right, I think he's buggered off. He has. Right. Eyes on the floor. Eyes on the floor. Always. Oh, hello. I guess we can't go through there. Always on the floor. <sighs> Mr. Bubbles, shouldn't you be playing around with a little sister somewhere? Uh oh. He is literally right behind me. Ah. <sighs> I think when the screen shakes in a minute, that's him teleporting away. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Although, I really wish I could have a good look at this chap. There we go. That works. See you later, alligator. Ah, alright. Look, mate, fuck off. I am out of here. 
Let's see if we can't get this thing moving. Well, I hope so. And hopefully if we can keep... Uh... Uh, wait, what? Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? What <sighs> could this ship be in? It's on the bottom uh, of the sea. Of course. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. There's there may be. out there. Like the ones we saw at Landa. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Oh. Shit. Oh, is that we all it does? I know, I know. I'm going. So that's all it does. It just messes with your circuits. It doesn't actually kill you. That's Something is stabilizing the good ship. to know. We need to let it know this is an emergency. Yes, I was just seeing if I could take you. Ah, what else can you say? Convince the ship that this is an emergency. Um, the ship that this is an emergency. Well, the engine room's usually at the back at the bottom. You know, for obvious reasons. Okay. So we need to go down. Uh, but, as we don't know which part of the ship we're in, well the bridge is usually in the middle or at the front, depending on the type of vessel anyway. And you're going to make this very difficult, aren't you? Why is nothing ever easy? Nothing is ever easy. I've literally got you right up my fucking asshole. I can't turn around. My, the curiosity in me is going to kill me. Because I'm going to be looking at you in a minute, boy. Unless you plan on sucking my brains out through my ass, fuck off. Now, where have we not... Oh, well, that's not a corridor. Ah. Uh, Right, let's hide in here. I can already see this guy being extremely tedious. Yeah, there we go. He's gone, for now. He is there. Right, so... This is not the engine room, this is the bridge. There is a ladder there. We can't get in there. Nah. Ah, hang on. What's through here? Ah. Ah. This is looking slightly more promising. Up we go. Floor three. We can... Oh. See, I would have thought that we could trip some kind. Ah, oh, it's one of those vessels. Ah, right, 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 right. I get you. They look kind of like um, needles or basters. Possibly need something in there. Um, yeah, they actually sink right down into the sea and they take readings. They're really weird. That is pretty heavy, I'm not going to lie. Oh, that barnacle's not even attached. But that's okay. Why are some of these not active? I guess that thing's been using them? It's alright, mate. It's all good. We've got this. Now, what's through here? Ah, storage of sorts. Pipes. You know, this ship is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. But that would also explain why an engine bay might... Uh, be in a different location on this particular ship. 
I still would have thought it would be at the back because obviously the front of the ship uh, dives down into the water. Ah! Whoa. Whoa. This looks like an engine bay, alright? Coolant efficiency, 99%. Reactor temperature, steady. We're going to have to make the reactor go critical. Ah, uh, that seems like a really poor plan. And uh, what about Mr. Bubbles? I mean, I thought we were just borrowing his ship. I, 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 I didn't think we were going to kill the guy. Right, well, we can't come in here. Now, I'm going to say, as soon as we start pulling plugs, he's going to get a little bit upset, which is fine, you know. I'd be a little bit upset if uh, someone came into my house and started ripping out wires. But, uh, um, I guess, needs must and all that. Well, he's not here yet, which is curious. Whoa! Whoa, what was that? Okay, let's go. Sorry, mate, I really wish that there was another way to do that. Uh, I didn't mean to destroy your home. I mean, I, I, actually, that's a lie. I kind of did mean to destroy your home. But that's because it's uh -oh, the only way for me to get out of here. I hope you understand. You can come with me. You know, if that will sweeten the deal. You're more than welcome, my good dude. Just try not to do anything weird. I don't think he's buying it, guys. Uh, do the thing with the thing. That makes sense. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, well, that thing's about to go critical. Um. Um. Can you steer this thing? Starboard rotor is choking, but I can compensate. How do you even know what direction we're going in? Don't worry, I'm hooked up to the navigator. We're headed for Theta. Should be a matter of minutes. Thought I was done for back there. So it's pretty Seems obvious. Like the wow was keeping the Curie from going into a catastrophic failure state. I, I mean, how did it get on the ship? Are you talking about the black tentacles in the engine room? I've seen them before at Upsilon. What are they? They're a manifestation of a malfunctioning station-wide artificial intelligence called the Wow. Ah. Station-wide? So we just made a powerful enemy. No, no, it's not like that. The AI isn't a persona. It doesn't feel or think like we do. It's more like. Uh, it's more like a cancer. Oh, well that, that doesn't ship? sound great. Looks like your sabotage worked better than expected. Nice. Hold on, the just off the what does that mean? If I don't hit Delta, we're dead. Ha. Huh. So. That was the, um... Uh, the doctor kind of thing. He was in charge of monitoring everyone's vitals. Um, so that is why it's spreading and keeping everybody alive, etc. Curious. Yeah, Simon, can, can we get up, buddy? Yeah, interesting. And it's spreading like a cancer, but it's trying to keep everything alive. Um, hmm. Whenever you're ready, Simon. You know, it's not like we're on a timer or anything. There we go. Uh, so, how far did we hit? How far did we get? We definitely had a hole breach. Let's kick this thing open. Yeah. Uh, okay, so if you're not going to get that open... Ah! Bob, is that you? 
Or at least, is that a bomb? Hey, Bob! Hi, right, buddy. You're gonna murder me horribly, are you? Long time, no see, pal. Oh, hey, little guy. Didn't expect to see you again. Well, to be fair, it might Good be a different one. I'll find a way to say hi. Yes, we will. So, where are we? This game just feels like one massive adventure. And I am loving it. Uh, oh, we have a dead Bob. So long, buddy. Alright, well, where was our ship? There's our ship. Ah, Sebastian. Nice to see you. Okay, it kind of looks like it's got a face. Hi, right, Bob. You can't fix my ship, can you? Wow, that is an impact. Yep. That thing ain't going nowhere. Right, let's go, Kath. At least being a machine, we shouldn't really have stamina. Ooh. Ooh. What's in here? I was going to say, hopefully Mr. Bubbles ain't. Oh, ah, we got a hole breach. Wow, that thing almost looks like the top of the tripods from War of the Worlds. Ooh, what does this button do? Ah, right. So, we are here, I guess? That's to Lambda and... Th uh, yeah, Lambda and Theta. Well, okay, so we just need to head, oh, 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 cool. Last happy memories. Whoa. Um, that looks like blood. That looks like blood. That looks like a big angry bastard. Um, deep joy. Sounds like she's running out of air. Oh boy. Well, when it rains, it pours, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. That struck to gel, though. Uh, okay, well, let's ride. Gee, I hope there's not like a big nasty robot out here. One that wants to eat my... Whoa! Loads of Sebastians. Look at this. This is cool. Oh. At least we have food if we need to eat. Although I'd probably starve to death given the choice of eating seafood. So here's Delta. Some kind of assembly line. We've got mine. Well, we've got tracks here. Huh. Mining station, perhaps? Can we. Can't go down into that. Looks like some kind of dock. Oh, Bob. 
Let's go. Adventure. Adventure awaits. Ooh. Lots. Uh, I was going to say, there's lots of fish out here. The sea life seems like it's going to recover naturally. Am I right? Can't believe how much I'm sweating in this suit. Ha! Huh, no way. Hey, could you maybe help? I need to get the data. Help me out here, will you? Um, yeah, what do you need, buddy? I need some vacation, sir. I have to speak with Akers about that. Isn't that right, Akers? Uh, can you not talk to me? Oh, hang on. You don't have anchors in there with you as well, do you? Give me some room, really? Listen. Don't worry about it. I got this. Yeah? Hey, can you hear me? Help me out here, will you? Alright, well, I guess his, uh, the lights are on, but no one's home. Alright, so there's Delta. Why do I get a boss feeling here? It's alright, Bob, we got this. Uh, shipping. Oh, Zeppelins, antenna, radio. Shipping. Ah, oh, arc shell to fly. Alright. Zeppelins, idle, unable, that sucked, I guess there's no chance of getting a decent, um, ooh, error, transport positions lost, manually adjust antenna, uh, yeah, okay, so, we can do that. Corrupt audio buffer. Restore files. Yes. Covered two files. You can see the Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set routes. Volgen did say that you could have fixed it on your side by redigging the antenna. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter now. Are all of you coming? No, just me, Goy, and Creer. Akers is set up being a stubborn old man. Mm-hmm. Can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. I, I mean, Mr. Akers, sir. I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Oh, wow. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay. Right, well, yeah, uh, he does not sound creepy or fucked up in the slightest. Oh, thanks, buddy. Thanks, Bob. Hey, Bob, have I ever told you I like you? You did a good job there, Bob. Good robot. It's called Bob, Simon. We have to humanize things. Well. You coming in, Bob? Plenty of room. Well, we've got some health. UH manual. Um, intelligence complex. Class lightweight universal helper. Remote pilot NA. Note, whilst the K8 lacks a voice module, it's able to communicate via simplified sounds and lights. Nice. Bull, UH3. Intelligence complex. Class medium worker. Remote pilot supported. Topper. Mini UH. Remote pilot NA. Ah, we saw a topper. Quilla. Ah, these are the things that are generally quite angry. Uh, the vessel has basic intelligence only. A pilot is needed to fully utilize its equipment. Right. Delta evacuated. Terry, it's been decided that you and your crew will evacuate to Theta on the 14th. Everything is being taken care of and you will be 
given at new positions as you arrive. You will have to fall into the ranks, of course. Last thing we need are more leaders. Makes sense. Um, it's your funeral. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I'm not going anywhere. You don't have the authority to make me. Terry. This isn't my orders, you idiot. I'm just the messenger. You want to stay? I can buy you some time if you want to hang out at your dump. But your crew is moving tomorrow. Mis Mr. Anchors, I'm happy to inform you that your crew has safely arrived at Theta. Let me know when you're ready to move and I'll send transport. Merry Christmas, Mr. Anchors. Don't hesitate to ask if you want to be relocated to Theta. Yeah, he really didn't want to go, did he? He was here for like four months on his own. Hmm. Terry Anchors won his one <laughs> his one thousandth game of chess. That's a lot of chess. We can play chess here. That's cool. I don't actually have time to sit here and play play chess. Ah. Interesting. So he can't continue. So I guess by the time he made a thousand, uh, actually his own achievement. Ah, uh, what a uh, game! You you set me up. You set me up and you shoot me down. Well, all right, guys. Well, I'm gonna leave it here because we're almost an hour. When we return, I suppose we have a anchor, an anchor, an antenna to fiddle with. There's Tau, Omicron. Phil, Omega. Hmm. Now, can we go through here? Ah. Ah. The throne room. Gotcha. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it here, guys. When we return, I guess we are going to uh, adjust this anchor and maybe get a Zeppelin to give us a lift? I guess we shall find out. So, really, really, really enjoying this game. Till then, guys. Till then.